What's up basketball fans, back with me Rocky Padilla and welcome to the first episode of ASEAN Basketball Discussion This segment is dedicated to all of you outside Indonesia Hopefully, we all can create some fun, exciting and also informative discussion on the comment section below Please, no hate, no harassment, please, please, please We all just gonna talk about all the hottest basketball news around the region Hopefully, I can do this once a week consistently So, if you guys have any topics suggestion please uh, leave it on the comment section below thank you very much for the support always so on this first episode yes 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 we're gonna talk about probably the most talk about and also hottest news from the Philippines uh, regarding uh, Ateneo head coach and also SBP project director Coach Tab Baldwin, who got some hot takes, man. Really, man, he got some hot takes. He made some bold comments on uh, unfiltered podcast online. So he was saying that the single import rules in the PBA as a big mistake. And also, it's coaches, maybe local coaches in the PBA is tactically immature. And he was also talking about the referees. So, man, I want to hear all of your opinion everybody from the philippines and also if you guys have extra information that i don't have please leave it on the comment section below i would love to know the latest situation from this big news so let's talk about the single import format in the pba i think i like it but first of all before i go there PBA, if you hear me, please do not geo block Indonesia. We're trying to watch PBA games. Also, I'm trying to support my boys over there Gabe Norwood, Marcio Lasiter, Japet Aguilar. But I cannot watch it, it's always blocked on YouTube. So please, PBA, let us all from Indonesia watch your games because a lot of Indonesians love PBA also. So that's that. Thank you very much. <laughs> so let's go about the single import rules in the PBA as we all know that PBA has three conferences in one year I don't even know when the PBA players resting man it's like all year long they go and go play basketball man it's crazy so three conferences one all Filipino two conferences with imports uh, single import one is with height limits so now uh, coach Tap Walwin say it's a big mistake but I like the single import role in the PBA. I think because for me, I want to see the local players play. I want to see Kiefer play. I want to see uh, Japet play. I want to see Junmar play. I want to see uh, Scotty Thompson play. So uh, I want to see Ray Parks play. So I think the single import works for the PBA. I think that's my opinion. Uh, because uh, it does help the progress of the young and upcoming stars in the PBA. Uh, because if you have two imports, usually they have two ball dominant players on the court and that won't help the local players to improve, to progress. Maybe they will progress, but probably slowly. So I think the single import rule is better. It's different with ABL or even uh, with IBL because in the ABL and IBL, the more imports are the better. It's more exciting, you know, because it, it sells, uh, big name sells. The difference is in the PBA, you got a lot of local players that have young star powers and also you guys have Phil Amps players, young, and they also really, really talented. Let's say Chris Ross, Marcio Lassiter, Moala Tautua, uh, who else? A lot more, man. You guys have a lot of Philippine American players that are really exciting. Chris Newsom, I cannot forget about him. I like his game a lot. So, and then you guys have probably like the best best imports around the region you guys get like former nba players former g league stars so former stars in the chinese china league in the europe league so one imports i think is one import is enough for the pba i think it's just different with the ibl and abl because in the ibl we always like oh yeah we want to watch uh let's say Dior Lohorn or Gary Jacobs. It's more exciting, you know, but in the PBA, I will watch the local players play, man. I will watch, um, who, who else do I like? I, I love Scotty Thompson's game a lot. <laughs> so that's about the single import format. So let me know what, what you guys think about that on the comment section below. And next, I think this is the biggest, or probably the one that made a lot of people mad. <laughs> 
even the PBA officials, I think, is not happy with uh, the comments that was made by Coach Coach Dave Baldwin. But this one is really, really crucial. He said that the local coach is tactically immature. <laughs> that is really wow. I don't know. It's very. I guess it's very. Uh, I think it's too sensitive to say it on a very public platform. You know what I'm saying? So. Uh, it's just bad timing, just bad timing, bad place to say it. So I think when what, what I read from Spin.ph, legendary coach Tim Cohn not happy, coach Norman Black not happy, my favorite coach in the Philippines, coach Zheng Yao is not happy. I don't think the local coaches in the PBA is tactically immature. Like I said, I remember that how coach shot Reyes in 2014. He, man, he made everybody know that Philippine basketball is on the map. It's like, we're good, you know, we, we can't compete with the world. As we know, like, they went to overtime with Croatia. They were really close with Argentina, I think. So, they beat Senegal, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, I think Senegal, right? Yeah, so, the coaches are good. I've, especially, I have a lot of respect for Coach Zheng Giao. I think Coach Zheng Giao is one of the best local coaches in the philippines and also coach leo as austria i work with i don't i won't say i work but i've been watching a lot of san miguel Beerman in the abl and also in the pba i love how how coach leo austria coach i think he's really really smart also so i think he's just bad timing and bad place i understand i think i understand what i'm sorry about the mic i think it's keep going it, it keeps going down but i understand what Coach Tap Baldwin trying to do. Some people when they go to podcast, even me when I go on a podcast is a f free speech. So sometimes we get carried away, you know. Sometimes we try, we tell what's in our heart. But sometimes it's not a good thing when you when you are being honest and you know you wanna you wanna pour out your what's in your heart it's not good even if for youtube I, I can't i can't say everything i want about indonesian basketball i have to know what i have to say because if i say something wrong they might block all my access to interview to cover the games you know so i always gotta be smart too i cannot say anything i want i gotta be politically correct also so i think if coach tap baldwin went to a pba officials or maybe if he goes to the coaches association i think that will be better i don't think people are gonna get hurt if 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 he went there but because he went on a podcast online and it just it just it's not good i just i don't think it's a good i don't think it's a good choice but we all know that man coach that baldwin is probably one of the best coaches also out there he coached the New Zealand uh, national team. He helped with the preparation for the 2014 FIBA World Cup. And he also, you know, very successful with Ateneo and he's very respected also in the Philippines. So hopefully everything gonna get resolved very soon. Everybody gonna become friendly again because we know that Philippines are preparing their squad for FIBA World Cup 2023. Everybody need to get together. So Philippines gonna go, go, go long in the FIBA World Cup 2023. So guys, thank you very much for watching the first episode of ABD. Hopefully you guys like it. Hopefully, you know, we can continue this and discuss about all the, you know, hottest news in the region. I have one more segment for, uh, my offer all my ASEAN viewers yeah I'm gonna have ASEAN prospects very soon hopefully I can do that uh, probably end of the week or probably next week uh, I'm gonna try to find some young talents from Vietnam Thailand Singapore Malaysia Philippines Cambodia from all over the region so just let me know if you know any good young start up and coming just DM me or also you can just leave a comment below so guys thank you very much for watching uh thank you for the support always i know i don't talk i don't speak in english a lot but hopefully you guys still subscribe to my channel don't forget to like don't forget to comment comment and also thank you very much for watching this episode i'll see you guys next video peace